No one can see them or hear them. Stop being so rational. Try using your imagination once in a while. These aren't just random patterns. It's me. And here, here's Ro and this Romulan are both out of phase. And you can see they're walking along. And they, and they walk through this wall. Who's in here? She goes through the wall. He goes through the wall. She hits him. He falls on the floor. He shoots at her. It stops a while. It's so bad I can't stand it. Okay, so. So. Now. You know, I, this would be just nitpicking, you know, but it allows something far more profound, which is to destroy your fantasies, which is a lot more fun. Um, so let everyone, you know, has fantasized about being invisible, okay, for obvious reasons. Um, okay, but what does it mean to be invisible? Okay, it means you're, you're like a pane of glass. The light goes right through you. It doesn't get absorbed or reflected. But how do you see? Okay, you see by absorbing light in your retina and it gets transferred to electrical signals in the back of your brain which get interpreted as a visual field, okay? So you could be invisible, but you couldn't see, okay? And, and really that's, that's the idea of this thing here. You can't, if, if there's a law of physics and it comes back to Newton again. If I interact with you, then you interact with me. Physics is a two-way street. You can't have it just one way. Sorry, okay? Now, the last blooper is my favorite because it involves two of my favorite things, quark and neutrinos. Okay, this is a blooper from, from Deep Space Nine, and quark, who has a gaming casino, gets hold of a device that changes the laws of probability in its vicinity, okay? Which is a really good thing to have if you have a gaming casino, you want to make some money. But the science officer, Dak, she finds out about this by sending a neutrino beam through the facility. Now, well, First of all, you all know what neutrinos are, right? You should know what neutrinos are. You should be intimately familiar with neutrinos because they're intimately familiar with you, okay? Every second of every day, over neutrinos are going through your body. Every second of every day because they're produced in the nuclear reactions that power the sun. And they interact so weakly, they can go right through the earth without interacting. So during the day, 10,000 billion neutrinos are coming down from the sun. Body. At night, when you're asleep, the neutrinos are coming up through the earth, through your house, through your bed, through your body. Think of that tonight when you're trying to sleep, okay? <laughs> now. So anyway, these neutrinos, are, they're my favorite elementary particles. I love them. I work on them. But she gets a hold of this neutrino beam and she sends it through the, the, the facility, through the game casino, and sees that the neutrinos are coming out left-handed. What? Exactly. <laughs> now, it's not as stupid as it sounds. Because, in fact, that's the right nomenclature. Elementary particle physicists use that nomenclature because many elementary particles, like neutrinos, act like they're spinning. So as they move this way, if they act like they're spinning this way, we call them left-handed. And if they act like they're spinning this way, we call them right-handed. So she sees, sends the neutrinos through, and she come, finds out they're only spinning one way, and therefore there's some problem. The problem is, for reasons we don't understand, one of the biggest mysteries in particle physics, neutrinos are the only elementary particles in nature that actually just spin one way. They're left-handed. We don't know why. We think perhaps that may be related to one of the reasons why the universe is made of matter and not antimatter. It's a subject of really current hot interest. But I like to think of the Star Trek writers sitting in a room trying to think of the stupidest thing they can come up with. <laughs> and it's true. And that's what I want to leave you with. That's the moral I want to leave you with. Truth is stranger than fiction. And as wild and wacky as the Star Trek universe may be, the real universe is far more interesting, which really is the reason why it's worth continuing to study it. Thank you very much.